Hi guys, today we're going to refine our uh, uh, typography skills using Photoshop. Um, what we're going to do is uh, create a poster with various words using a minimum of three fonts and a color palette. Um, just a quick review from a previous video. Uh, we are asking that you go and use pre-created uh, color palettes in Cooler. So you click Cooler here and uh, depending on the colors that you're looking for, I'm going to quickly show you this. Uh, we're just telling uh, the poster you're going to create is going to be for the school. So what we want to do is get one of these color palettes, click on an arrow and add to swatches panel, it'll show up. I've already added mine, I want to use this color panel. So uh, we're going to get going. Uh, the first thing we want to do is uh, create a document. I will do that right now. And the, oops, I meant to click new. File new. And your dimensions that you want, because we're going to be using this for print, is 3300 by 2550 with a resolution of 300. Background is white. I'll do that. And let's give it a title. We're going to call it School Poster and your name, Mr. D. All right. And it's important you put your name for this file, okay, because I, I will be sending these out to be printed. So if we don't have names, it'll be very confusing. Um, and if you're just watching this for the web, don't worry about that. So uh, once you're in here, I'm going to ask you to use as a reminder, this is the top. Okay, so this is your main paintbrush. So I suggest picking a, a gray color dark gray is nice but you could customize and use one of the colors in your template uh, these are your choices okay so you click alt backspace and you've picked your color okay so now I want you to think of words that you could use uh, in your theme uh, for example we're going to use words that are related to our school or something in a club in the school and I want you to use uh, at least 15 different words 10 to 15 different words and try to use the color palettes in your fonts here. So I'm going to start by creating a couple. So I'm going to go O T H S. Oh, why is that not working? I think I told you this before. So you have to pick the right palette color. So we're going to go with dark and we'll re-highlight that and try that again. So there it is. It did work. H S. So that's pretty dark. That's good. Um, now you want to vary the sizes. So I'm going to go 72 here. And if I need bigger, what I'll do is type 100. And that's good enough. I like that font, so we're going to use that one. Um, use that one a couple times. Click over here to switch away from that. Re-click on your tool. Click somewhere else on this gauge. Let's change this to about 48. We'll go to rocks. So we'll pick another word. And actually, I'll pick another font before I do that. So let's click here, rocks, okay. So any words that, our main theme is this. So we're gonna go with the OTHS for our school, but you could use whatever you want. So now we're gonna use another palette, um, another word. Uh, doesn't really matter what words you use, but you need to have about 10 and focus them. And what you need to do is have at least 10 different sizes and so on. All right, so um, I will fast forward in the video so you can kind of see where we're at. So here's all the words that I've created and added. So you'll notice there are several here. What I want to do is click on all of these and drag them into one layer. So what you can do is click control click, click them all. And what you want to do is drag it into this little folder. It looks like the Google Drive folder. Just click on that. It's creating a group. So that's the first step, okay? You can name your groups if you want. I'll leave that up to you. Uh, what you want to do here is duplicate this group, okay? We'll call it Group 2. This is important. You don't give it the same name. So Group 2. And what I want you to do is make sure this is selected. And then when you click over here, you're going to notice there's this. Okay, so what we can do with this is we're going to duplicate this a few times. First thing we want to do before we do that is reduce the opacity to about 50%. Maybe I'll say 55 or something. Okay, so I'm going to reselect this group and let's make sure I have it. 
then I want to hit Control T. I'm going to transform this. There are different transform tools. You can play around with them if you want. Uh, they're really cool. Um, skew, etc. If you want to play with those. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to press the Shift key. That's important because it keeps the proportions in size. And I'm going to drop this in different parts of the canvas. So I'm going to do that. Okay. And I think I'm happy with that. I let go of the Shift key there. I'll click Control Z. So what I want to do is make it look like there's just a tons, ton of words. And I'll leave this up to you, but you could put it up here, down, and all kinds of places. Uh, for time's uh, sake, I'll go a little bit quicker. So I, important to press Enter when you're done with your transform. Then uh, we're going to duplicate this group again. I'll call it Group 3. Uh, and I will make sure it's selected and move it over here. And it is, so I'm good with that. I'm going to do that again, duplicate this group again. Call it four. Drop it down here. You could do this as many times as you need. Try to make it so it doesn't look overly uh, busy or it's, the words are, are conflicting with other words that are there. Maybe I'll put this one over here. And maybe I can even reduce the, the, the opacity a little bit on this one. So I'm pretty happy with that, okay? Okay, now what I want to do is to um, create another layer. And on this, I'm going to create another text. I'm going to put a large text. So I'm going to add the text here. This needs to be really large. So let's go for 300 and see what happens. Okay, uh, let's try that again. Click, click, click. Let's get this 300. Let's pick a nice round font. Or let's see, maybe we can use one of the fonts we already have. Oh, I need to be on this layer. That's what's happening. Apologies. So we're going to click over here. And we're going to change this to 300. We're going to write OTHS, which is our school. And um, here, here, control. I kind of, oh, this one's fine. I need to click on this one here and drop it, get rid of it here. Um, okay, just got rid of that. So I'm pretty happy with the size of this here. So I will go to the top, the layer where I find this one. Make sure you name it uh, the large font or something so that it's obvious. And you want it to go over this. Again, you could also use, and I encourage you to do this, use your character panel here and expand it, enlarge it. Um, maybe you want to go uh, plus 25. So it does, you know, this kind of stuff um, to, to play around with the font. I'll leave that up to you. And what I want to do here is apply a gradient to this layer. So we're going to go over here, oops, under effects, and we're going to apply a gradient overlay. It will open this up. And I want you to use a color swatch. Uh, that has some of the same colors that uh, we've used. I want to show you, just like the video we learned yesterday, we want to use some of these. And what I, I think I encourage you to do is have the same two colors at the, at the beginning and at the end, okay, or similar. And in the middle, put a white. Usually looks really good like that. So, um, you know, you can experiment a little bit around here, but this is pretty good. So we'll go okay. So I use the same colors, looks really cool. Uh, I am gonna reduce the opacity on this too as well because it just looks a little bit too, too uh, and, and the other thing you could do in effects here, I want you to think about maybe adding a stroke. So we'll go uh, stroke three, or you know, again, play around with the colors. You can change the color here, uh, use one that's in your palette. And um, I'll go over here, use the color picker tool and apply it to, to this. Um, anyways, again, experiment with that. So there you go. We have a really cool poster with fonts. And again, select a th minimum of three fonts and use a color palette. Um, we're going to print these off and possibly even use one for a yearbook cover. So let's uh, 
get you guys working on that. So this is Mark Dubow for EdTechVoices.com. If you like this video, don't be shy and subscribe.